can you guys say about season four and how closely it will follow the Red Sun comic arc? Well, uh, I'll, the season as a whole is about which is stronger, hope versus fear, and you know, one of the things that we're doing this season is to get back to some of the more grounded storytelling that we have told. Uh, you know, Superman has always reflected on real, ish, life. real life issues that are happening, and so we'll, you know, there will be telling stories uh, that reflect uh, our time. The in terms of the Red Sun, um, you know, it is a we're telling our version of it, and it'll kind of it'll be teased out. And, at the beginning of the season until it becomes a big it's more of a runner and then it will blossom more of a mystery it's not the main the main um, meat of the season at the end of start so you're introducing the first trans- transgender superhero yes. so this is Dreamer tell us about Dreamer Okay, so her name is Nia Nall. She's awesome. <laughs> She's a cub reporter um, who it was sent by Cat Grant. She worked for Cat Grant as an intern at the White House. And, um, and Kara is going to be her mentor. And what we learn about her is that she is the great, 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 great grandmother of Nora Nall, who is a, who's dream girl from the Legion. And her superpower is seeing the future. And we are just over the moon that we found Nicole Maines to be um, our Nia. We did a worldwide search for um, trans actresses, and not only is she a phenomenal actress, she's also a real life hero. She has been an activist in her community since she was 14 years old. She was um, honored by Glad. She is just, uh, she's just, she's an incredible woman. So we're just, we, we couldn't be more excited. Does Nia being a reporter mean that we're going to get more time at CatCo with James, Cara, and her? Uh, yes. yes. Now, and one of the things that we're excited about this season is that we're getting back to CatCo. And, you know, awesome. The, uh, you know, I think what the fans will really like, you know, as, the, as we're talking about issues that are reflecting on, you know, well, one of the things we'll be talking about is the power of the press and how the free press is very important. And so it'll be a nice journey for Cara if she realizes that Cara can be as much of a superhero as she can be. So how, um, what are we going to see between uh, Lena and, and Kara now that their relationship is, or excuse me, Lena and Supergirl now that their relationship is strained? I mean, I think that um, Lena and Kara are best friends. I think Kara, Supergirl is trying to make amends with Lena, but you know, the relationship, she'll continue to grow closer with, Lena will continue to grow closer with Kara as there's still tension mounting and the Lena Supergirl film. So we'll see some conflict in Kara from that then? Yeah, no, I mean, we know, you know, one of the cliffhangers was, uh, you know, with the horror now, so at some point that will become an issue. The Midvale episode last season was my absolute favorite of the series. Um, are we going to be getting any more episodes in that vein? We are going to have more um, deep character-driven episodes, you know, that not necessarily the girls from Midvale, but we really love um, carving out time to delve deeper into specific characters and taking the time to do that, we have a few plans. One of the biggest character shifts last season that didn't get as much attention because of the world killers was Kara finding out that she's far, she and Clark are far from the last Kryptonian still around. Yes. You know? Is there going to be after effects from meeting her mother, knowing her mother and other friends are out there this season? Um, this season is much more grounded. Um, we're not, you know, we spent a lot of time off world uh, last year, and I think one of the things that the end of last season did for Carl was to really solidify that Earth was her home, and I think knowing that her mother is out there brought a sense of peace and closure. So, you know, if the story takes us there, we love uh, Allura and having her on the show, uh, but for right now, we're kind of focusing on her family. When you talk about the, the, like, the notion of a free press, that mm-hmm. part of your story, yes. of, of all of the DC shows, do you feel like that one of the distinct qualities of yours 
is that it, it, it has to make kind of real world commentary, it has to engage a, with A thousand it. percent. We, we really love the fact that we're able to do that and right now in the world it seems like, you know, a really powerful time to tell allegorical, allegorical stories and one of the issues we're dealing with in Supergirl this season is there is a rise in anti-alien sentiment and so, and as Robert said, the theme is what is stronger, hope or fear. So um, our villain, Agent Liberty, and his group, the Children of Liberty, are going to be spreading fear and hate and Supergirl of course stands for hope but the but the challenge she's going to face is how do you combat fear when you represent the one thing that the people are afraid of because she is an alien and so one of the ways that she's going to learn to fight this is as Kara Danvers the reporter and so we'll see that being a reporter is just as heroic as being Supergirl and so that means a lot to us. Well, and it's in the DNA of Superman you know He's always spoken out on social issues and been a proponent of truth and justice. And so, yeah, like, we feel a responsibility to, to carry the torch. Mm -hmm. and can you tell us more about Sam Whitworth? Okay, sorry about that. Sam Whitworth coming on board? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he's a wonderful actor. He's a legacy cast. He was in Smallville as Doomsday, so we're excited to have him on. And it's, uh, you know, it's a great role. We think uh, you know, Agent Liberty, it's different than in the, the comic books, but uh, he'll have his own origin story. And so we'll kind of, it's a very layered approach to kind of understanding who he is and why he's, you know, the way he is. Yes. <laughs> like, like Rain, we're, it's, he's not going to be a, a mustache twirly, one dimensional villain. We're going to see all the forces that made him become and who he is and why. Rain was absolutely perfect last season. Oh, no, thank dead. you. It was wonderful. He just. She meant so much to part. us. She sure yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was wonderful. But for, from Agent Liberty's point of view, he's fighting, you know, what he believes is the good fight. So we all understand why he believes that as the season progresses. Uh, and will the um, the adoption storyline still be weaved in a little bit more further as well? Well, uh, we're not going to drop the fact that Alex wants to be a mother, and that's uh, that's that's a given, and that will unfold. You know, we'll figure out in what way. Okay.